Hello everyone, it's great to see you all today. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> so hello, I'm speaking on behalf of Leeds Disabled People's Organization, also known as LDPO, because many of our members were not able to join this event today, although we did get a good crew, let's be honest. Um, <clears throat> I would like to thank those who helped me in preparing this speech. LDPO is one of the only organizations in Leeds that is specifically run by disabled people to get our voices and needs of all disabled people represented. Stereotypes of disabled people in society are that we are invisible and should stay hidden as our bodies, minds are something to be ashamed of or that we are incapable to advocate for ourselves and thus must rely on charity. But we are here today because of the many d disabled people before us who prove that rights cannot come from charity or staying silent. They come from using our own body minds in protest. Whether that be from the blind welfare marches of the 1920s, the Trafalgar Square protests of the 1960s, or chaining ourselves to buses and trains in 1995 to fight for accessible transportation. <clears throat> All of these actions and many more have been main contributors to informing our rights in the UK. Without protesting, our lives would not be what they are today. However, currently in the UK, we are seeing austerity erode the rights of disabled people, and West Yorkshire is currently listed as the worst place for disabled hate crime in the UK. On top of this, the pandemic is only making our lives worse. Disabled people have been told to shield with no answer of when we will be safe to leave our homes. Disabled people make up nearly 60% of those of all COVID deaths. And when we receive treatment, we are faced with do not resuscitate orders as our lives are seen as less deserving than others. Like many groups here today, we protest because we are literally fighting for our lives. <clears throat> Disabled people live intersectional lives. Many of us identify as black, gypsy, Roma, trans, queer, and beyond. We experience firsthand intersectional oppression, discrimination, barriers to access, and police brutality. The Disabled People's Movement has and continues to stand and sit shoulder to shoulder with marginalized groups in the fight for social justice. Uh, that is why LDPO chooses to be here today to stand in solidarity with the Gypsy Roma traveler community who have been specifically targeted by this bill alongside Black Lives Matter, the LGBTQ community, sex workers, environmental and animal rights activists, trade unions, and many other groups affected by this bill. <coughs> we will not be silenced. We are working together and together we are stronger and we can kill this bill. Thank you.